hi everybody i decided to pop in live and i want to talk to you today about something that may have been on your mind or you have probably been in a situation like this before and that's feeling stuck okay who has been stuck please tell me <laughs> is there anyone in the group that has ever felt stuck or that you are feeling stuck right now. So um, here's what you do. If you're feeling stuck, here are some tips. First of all, it's important to recognize what is actually happening. First of all, um, this world that we live in is in constant movement. What do I mean? Um, if you just stop right now and look around you, look outside the window, um, if you look inside you, if you follow your breath, anything really around you, you will notice there is movement. Everything around you is movement. The wind, little, you know, ants or little insects are moving. Maybe you have a spider in the corner ma making a web your breath, your body, your thoughts, um, a car passing by, your neighbor upstairs. Whatever it is that you're hearing or seeing right now is most likely movement. Why? Because this world is designed, sorry, <laughs> this, this, this world is designed to To move that's how it flows there is no consistency in this world this is how it works however uh, when we are um, when we need some security and that's pretty much we always are looking for something to hold on to right so we're looking for that stability we're looking for something that will um, give us that sense of security, of stability, of standing still, All right? So when you're feeling stuck, that could be the feeling that you're feeling, not in a good way. You feel like you're not moving, that you're just being stuck and still, but not in a stillness way, like you're having your inner peace and you're feeling nice and balanced, right? It's not that kind of a stuck. It's not a kind of a stillness, right? It's feeling stuck. You can't move in any direction. You feel restricted, right? You feel restricted. You can also share below uh, if um, you have something to add to that feeling. Like, so you're feeling strict, restricted. You feel like you can't move. You feel like you can't make a decision. You can't move in any direction because you're afraid of what, like, it, where would it lead you? What if you made a mistake? What if that decision will affect the rest of your life forever and it freaks you out and you feel afraid and you just don't want to do it? Um, perhaps you're trying something and then it doesn't work, right? Or you're pushing in one direction and then you're just being blocked and blocked and blocked and over again and you just can't do it, right? So that's another way of feeling stuck. It's just like you want to change, but something around you is not allowing you to change right so let's go back to the first thing that i mentioned and that is the world that we live in is in constant movement so if the world that you're living in is in constant movement how can you be stuck you can be stuck in fact i'm here to tell you that actually you can be stuck the first thing to realize is that it's not actually, you're not stuck. It is your perception that you are stuck. What in fact is happening is that you have probably a pattern that is simply in the loop. So it's constantly playing out. Whatever is happening around you, whatever you're working from inside, your vibration, your energy, your, what you are projecting outwards is what creates your reality. Many times it's coming from the subconscious mind and these are the situations that don't make us 
feel happy, right? You wouldn't choose to be unhappy or in this in discomfort on purpose. It's not a conscious choice. So you can, by default, assume that this is a subconscious program, right? So if you feel like you've been stuck for a while, well, first thing to do is to recognize that this is a pattern. You are actually in the loop. You're, there is movement, but you are moving in loop. Does this make sense? Hopefully this makes sense. So you're moving in a loop, right? And what your first step would be is recognize the pattern, find the pattern, decide to really see what is the freaking pattern. It could be something that is repeating. Do you have a same situation that is coming up over and over again? Maybe you're attracting the same people over and over again. Maybe you're feeling the same emotion over and over again. Write it down. What emotion is it? What situation is it? What kind of people do you attract? Dig deeper, journal on that. Analyze it, what it is. And once you know what it is, then you can deal with it and then you can change the program. Break out of the loop because you're in the loop. That's the thing like we always think like, I'm stuck, I can't move. Like, well, actually you're not stuck. It's just you believe that you're stuck. You're not actually stuck. You're in movement, but you, you, your subconscious mind is probably playing a program that you've been running for years or something has triggered it in your life that activated that program. It could be a karmic thing that like it was from the previous life and then this program was activated for you to learn something, right? So the thing is like to see what is the problem? What is the problem? What is the pattern? What is the program that is running in the background? So once you define it, you can actually shift from it, yeah? There are different ways to do this. You can use the EFT, like my favorite technique. Um, you can um, journal on it and that will already help you. And you can choose to see things differently. You can choose different programs. See, rewrite your story and see what would you like to have happen instead? What would be ideal for you? So usually when we define something that we don't like, like when we define something that is not pleasant, then we can easily define what we do want. Let's say, um, I'm stuck in a job that I don't like. Why do you not like your job? I don't like my job because my boss doesn't appreciate me. Okay, great. Stop right there and say, shift this around, reframe it and say, okay, what do you want? I want a boss that appreciates me. Or maybe I want to be my own boss, right? So that would be like the way you would find what do you want. And once you do that, you can already shift just by you know realizing that that's already a shift um and then secondly if you dig deeper and under, try to really rewrite your story for real and and write down every little step of what would you like to happen and really put all those details that will really immediately shift your vibration that will change your vibration and you will start thinking more positively and trust me you will get unstuck <laughs> you will move there will be movement in a different direction and then keep going in that direction. Because if you fall back into that old pattern, it means you didn't really clear it, you didn't release it, and it's gonna keep running. And then again, you'll feel stuck. So if you wanna break the pattern, you really need to break it. You need to take this seriously and um, do the work. You need to do the work to, you know, release it. Uh, so yeah, that's one example. For example, I feel stuck in an unhappy relationship why because i don't want to be left alone um or perhaps the person won't love me if i'm if i am truly myself i'm not myself in my relationship so i feel stuck i, I feel like i'm playing a role right um so what if that's a belief that you believe that you're not worthy of love or you're not worthy of having a loving relationship, right? So it could be a belief. Okay, so what do you want? Shift it, right? What is the new belief you want? What is it that you want to attract the right person? I want to be loved and respected. I want to and uh, accept it for who I am, right? 
shift that and define go deeper define what would you like to have what is a loving relationship for you what kind of a partner would you really want to be you know dating um so there's there's this thing like whatever you feel stuck with you i hope you get it i hope this helps really i just felt called to talk about this um to really help you understand that you can shift and you can change the program anytime um when you're stuck, you're not, you're not actually stuck. You're just in the loop, right? So it's really about consciously choosing to get out of the loop and changing the program that is running um, in the background because you're on autopilot, take control, consciously shift it, change it. Yeah. I hope this helps. I'm sending you lots, lots of loving support. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, post on the video below and see if you if, if you have any questions regarding this method uh, or what I've just shared with you um, or share your story. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for being here. I'm sending you love and light and hope you get unstuck very soon. <laughs> okay. Namaste. Yeah.